Good morning. Today is April 20th. Now we're in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. We've been here a week. This is the capital of Mongolia and this is our most open month so far. And so we literally came here with uh, no plans, no contacts, except just the hope of being able to go to somewhere in the country. And we made some connections with a friend of the lady who runs our hostel and she actually sets up tours down to uh, the south in the Gobi Desert. And uh, before we got here, my team did some listening prayer, asking God uh, what he would want us to do, where he would want us to go in Mongolia. And uh, several of the people on my team got the desert in their prayers. They uh, didn't even realize that the Gobi Desert was in Mongolia. So that was, uh, really cool that God gave them that word and so yeah we're gonna spend one week in the Gobi and uh, we're gonna stay with camel herders and I think we're gonna stay in Gurs which are Mongolian yurt tent things so I'm excited to show you guys this fun trip and see what God does the family we stayed with was a dad a mom and their three daughters and mom would make us three meals a day, most of which included mutton, even breakfast, we had mutton. And she also always had a bowl of goat cheese and bread sitting out for us to snack on. Good morning, happy Easter from the plains of Mongolia. We are staying with goat herders and we just had breakfast and I think we're gonna Milk some goats now. <laughs> yeah, Sus. Holy cow. Have you done this before? No, I have not. She's a natural. You got the magic touch, Sus. What do you think, Gally? <laughs> We're Mongolian goat herders now. They also have sheep. In the middle here are sheep, and then we also have goats on the outskirts, the ones with horns. We're herding all the sheep and goats into the pen, and then we're gonna leave all the babies in the pen, and then we let all the adults go out to pasture. <laughs> Come on, sis! Yeah! Nice. Nice. That's reckless love, Suze. We spoke no Mongolian and they spoke no English, almost no English. And so most of our time was just seeing what was happening and just going with it and figuring out as time went on what was going on. <laughs> what are you doing? Just <laughs> we knew very little before we came. Uh, the lady who set up our tour for us told us that we would be staying with a local family in their gear and that we may help birth camels and we may help shear goats. Neither of which happened. <laughs> so we've been with our family four days and we haven't seen any camels yet, but just now they pointed at the picture on the wall in their gear and said that we we're gonna go see him. And here we are! Never in my life did I think I'd be in Mongolia looking at two hot camels. We were in the middle of nowhere with literally no other gears anywhere nearby. And so we had a lot of free time to just wander in the wilderness and talk to God, and also spend a lot of time with each other, with our teammates. The language barrier was very real. We couldn't even use Google Translate, so we literally just had to use our body language or draw pictures, and really it was very growing, learning how to live our lives 
as an example of Christ, even if we don't know how to speak the language, 